psychology, political science, biology, physiology, uh, economic theory. Take any theory you can find from any discipline you've been exposed to in the Western world and you could not within the confines of the parameters of that theory explain why we are still here. In fact, if you use the parameters in any of those theories, they would tell you none of us should be here. And certainly, the fact that you sit here in front of me today with the dignity, the respectability, and the beauty that you're showing and exuding, and the fact that we have rediscovered, despite all that we've been through, the secrets that was hidden from us about ourselves, there was no way that could have been predicted. Don't you know that Caucasians did all they could do within the limits of what they knew to block us ever getting back to this point? Don't you know there was never supposed to be an Ivan Van Sertima to know that African people had been here before they came, before Columbus got here? Don't you know there was never supposed to be a John Henry Clark, never supposed to be a Yosef Ben Yakanan, never supposed to be a Van Sertima, never supposed to be a Asa Hilliard, never supposed to be a Marlotta Karenga, never supposed to be a John G. Jackson, never supposed to be any of these people engaged in restoring this? Don't you know they did all they could to prevent it? They spotted our brightest one snatched them quick. They tried to kill them, then they tried to drive them crazy, and then they simply reprogrammed them. So we lost many. But look how many we kept. The development of the minds that we have cannot be understood using any concept of educational or training theory. It can't be understood. If you deal economically, you can't explain our economic situation based upon e economic theory. We are not supposed to be here. And not only are we here, we got billions of dollars. We got good money. We just don't have good sense. <laughs> but look, don't let nobody fool you. I mean, this is where I agree with Tony Brown up and down. I don't agree with his party affiliation, but I agree with him up and down. You got the money. I mean, I have seen it over and over again. Black folks can buy whatever they want to buy. Do whatever they want to do financially. Because we've got a power that's bigger than money. I mean, psychologically, we should have been devastated. You think some of us are crazy, all of us should be crazy. Every one of us. Every one of us. You, you, you think we got a few junkies. Any brother who's not a junkie is a miracle. Any sister who's not an alcoholic or suicidal is a miracle. Don't you know that the black women having to deal with black children, black men, white men, white women, white children, and deal with what they've dealt with all these years and not be stock raving lunatics? Don't you know that's a miracle? Don't you know that's a miracle? That's a miracle. Now, that's a miracle. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Now, listen now. A lot of you all are crazy. Stop raving mad. It took its toll. What I'm saying is it's surprising that all of you are crazy. Some of y'all are just as silly as you can be. <laughs> you understand? I mean, I mean, the fact that there's one brother who's willing to be a father, a husband, take on responsibility of leadership, the fact that you can produce one brother, handsome, intelligent, well-liked by white folks and black folks alike, could be doing whatever he wanted to do and decide that I'm going to fight for black folks and make enemies everywhere. How do you come up with one of these? not based on any psychological theory we've got. And ain't ego-tripping either. If he was ego-tripping, he didn't have to do what he's doing. I mean, he, I mean, like, you know, what Reggie Jackson think he could do, John Wiley Price could equal and excel overnight. You see, so it ain't about arrogance. And the point of it is, is that by the mere nature of his commitment shows otherwise. And I'm telling you, these are things that we've got to understand that our very survival is miraculous. You don't know how hard they work to not let us be here. First of all, they uneducated us, then they miseducated us. 
They somehow have given us the paradigm. They've given us the insanity. They've given us themselves as God. They've given us everything that we were supposed to make sure we never got out of this mess. We were not supposed to have anybody fighting on our behalf. Afrocentricity was never supposed to come up. We were never supposed to know that Africans gave the world civilization. We were never supposed to know any of that. That was never supposed to happen. We were never supposed to have black men standing up again talking like men and not wanting no white woman no kind of way. No kind of way. Not one one. Not even wanting one. Listen. Listen. We were never supposed to have black women who still loved and respected black men. Never supposed to. They did everything they could to make you believe a black man ain't nothing. No good rotten dogs, unreliable, ditch you and dog you, don't respect them, go somewhere and find you a white man or use you a black man as a stud and go on and do what you need to do. You don't need no no good, good for nothing, Mr. Making, acting, rapist, uh, molesting dog black man. That's what you're supposed to believe. And many of our women believe it. They write about it, they describe it, they stand about it, they talk about it. They can't stand black men. But I understand why. They work to make you that way. The miracle are the ones who say they may be all that, but they bad too. They bad. Look. And if, and if I'm going to have any kind of man, it's going to be an ebony black man. Any kind. You understand? Now, there is no way. There is no way that was supposed to happen. There was no way that scholars were supposed to give up tenure, give up respectability, give up the ability to sit in people's corporate structures, sit in people's court buildings, sit in people's corporate laws, and say, I don't want to be there. Because I can't be myself while being there. They weren't so, you were never supposed to have that, but we got it. And you wondering where the miracles are? You the miracle. Every one of us is a miracle.